Hi, it's Vitya from Soulmet. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to draft a dartless pen block pattern to work with your stable knit fabrics. So you're going to need your basic pen block pattern to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. So we're going to start with our basic pen block pattern front. So first trace around the block making sure to mark the dots and notches. Lift your block. Draw in your darts, square in your hip line, knee line, and ankle line. Next we're going to draw in our grain line. So next we're going to outline all the changes we're going to make to our block to avoid any confusion, okay? So we're going to move in from the outer seam by 5 millimeters from the top to the bottom. So in 5 millimeters. Then we're going to come to the crotch point here. What we're going to do is to move up by 1 centimeter and in by 5 millimeters. So up one centimeter in five millimeters then coming to the in seam line here we're going to move it in by five millimeters so in five millimeters then we're coming to our hem line we're going to move it up by five millimeters We've got a three centimeter dart here. We're also going to get rid of the dart in our pattern here. So what we're going to do is to come to the crotch line here and we're going to move in by one centimeter. So it means we're going to be left with two centimeters of the dart here. And we're going to come in from the side seam by two centimeters meaning we've got our three centimeter dart out already okay so we cancel it out so next let's make all these changes starting with the outer seam we're going to come in by 0 0.5 centimeters all the way down Coming to our hemline or ample line, we're going to move it up by 5 millimeters or 0 0.5 centimeters. Then we're going to come to the crotch point here and we're going to move it up by 1 centimeter and in by 5 millimeters. And I'm just gonna square a little line. So from this point, we're going to follow through the whole inseam here, taking in five millimeters. Next, we're going to come back to the waistline here, and we're going to move this point in by one centimeter. So one centimeter, put a mark, join this point to this hip line point with a straight line. Now with your curve ruler, connect this point to this point with a curve. Now we're only left with taking in two centimeters from this point. We're going to come into the pattern by two centimeters and put them up. Two centimeters, put them up. Next, get your curve ruler and just blend a nice curve back into the curve here. Okay. Now 
just like that. So this is all out now. Okay. Next, get your cap ruler and join this point to this point with a nice cap. So this is out and this is out. Coming to the hemline, I'm still going to add three centimeters for my hem allowance. Now get your scissors and we're going to cut around the pattern. So first we're going to cut at the hemline here to shape it nicely. So what we're going to do is to fold along this new hemline. Just fold back. And cut along the part. Now I'm going to add the notches to the pattern. Now I'm going to extend this grain line up to the top. And labeling the pen block. So this is the front pen block. For stable needs. And I put my initial. Now moving on to the back, first press around the block, making sure to mark the notches and darts. Now lift your block, draw in your hip line, knee line, and ankle line. Next we're going to square up our grain line. Draw in your darts and this is also 3 centimeters. Next we're going to outline all the changes we're going to make which is almost similar to what we did with the front except for just one point of which I'll let you know, okay? So we're going to come here to the side seam and we're going to come in by 5 millimeters or 0 0.5 centimeters. So this time the only difference we have with the front is that the dart intake we're going to take all of it from the side seam. So we're going to come in again a further three centimeters. Okay? So we're going to take off five millimeters the whole way like we did with the front, and we're going to come in a further three centimeters to cancel the dart allowance here. Okay? Then we come to the crotch point here. We're going to go up one centimeter like we did with the front and in five millimeters which is 0 0.5 centimeters so we go all the way down taking in five millimeters again so in five millimeters the wall inseam then coming to the hemline we're going to go up five millimeters again okay so let's effect all these changes so starting with five millimeters all the way down So at this point we're going up one centimeter and in five millimeters. Okay. And we're going to square a little line. Just like that. I'm just gonna lengthen this line a little further. 
Then I'm going to connect this line to this point with a curved ruler. Now we're coming back to the waistline with the side seam here. From this point here, the 5mm we got in, we're going to move in by 3cm and put another mark. Now we're going to get our curved ruler and blend this point to anywhere along the high hip line here, okay? So this whole part is out now, okay? And we no longer have a dart here. And we're going to connect this point to this point with a straight line. Then we're going to come to our hemline and we're going to move it up by 5 millimeters. And then we're going to come to the new hemline and we're going to add a hem allowance of 3 centimeters like we did with the front. Next we're going to fold along the new hemline here. And we're going to cut along the part. Now I'm just gonna add my non cheese. Now labeling the pattern, back pen block. For stable needs. And I put my initial. And our back pen block pattern is finished. Next, I'm going to work both my patterns from the hip line to the waist line so that we make sure that we have similar lengths to our side seam. Okay, to avoid any discrepancies. So I'm just gonna match my notch is here and I'm just going to continue working my pattern along the side seam here. So we've got a tiny discrepancy here. We have to make sure that we correct that so that when we are sewing, we don't have any problems. So I'm just going to blend this back into the line here and I'm just going to cut that little piece off. Okay, just like this. So we finished drafting our darkless pen block patterns for stable knit fabrics. So now you can go ahead and transfer yours onto Octag or cardboard so that you can be able to use them for longer. Thank you.